Mysticism appreciates that there are great truths that remain unknown. Truth is big. It's vast. Yet our minds are finite. So we need to have a healthy respect and wonder for what we don't know. We need to be humble before the great mystery of life. And at the same time, we also need to rely on what is tried and true. A practice of mysticism, a spiritual practice of mysticism, opens up the spirit to that mystery. And this, this can be helpful. Uh, all, almost all spiritual traditions have some element of mysticism in them. But the practice of mysticism can also be destabilizing. In excess, mysticism can aggravate subtle quality or sukshma guna. Mysticism takes many forms. It can include frequently seeking far out exotic, amazing, mesmerizing experiences. We all want to have those, you know, uh, peak experiences uh, in our life. But if we're always wanting to be in a state of peak experience, uh, that can be destabilizing. Uh, so wanting to be in a continual state of inspiration uh, and even just opening yourself up entirely to any one experience uh, can have that, an element of mysticism in, them, in it. Um, seeking ecstatic states, blissing out, for example, or even trance-like states. Um, you know, when you're in a trance, it's, it's as if something else is controlling your will, controlling your free will. Uh, getting high on mind-altering substances or experiences, and that could be anything from drug use, sniffing glue, seeking experiences that will give you an adrenaline rush. You've heard the expression adrenaline junkie, right? So I'm putting uh, these all in this category, uh, even though you know maybe formally, philosophically, they might not all fit. I think it's useful to group them uh, in this way. So uh, compulsion for continual heightened experiences uh, can often be rooted in a lack of a appreciation of simple day-to-day -day existence or simple concrete truths, right? We sometimes get bored with reality and want to make something more of it than it is. And that's always a sign that you missed something special happening right now. Right? There's a kind of despair that can creep in that the uh, world or your personal circumstances are mundane or boring or attractive, especially when compared to uh, television media or movies or um, you know, the like, advertisements. So it, it's hard to experience the beauty and wonder of things around you. Uh, if they become so familiar that you become blind to them. So on some level, a gratitude practice uh, can be very appropriate for a person that it has been uh, in having a habit of m uh, seeking mystical uh, heightened states of awareness. Great, next we'll talk about detachment.